Welcome into Fast Five with Jay Walker and Scott Prather. What's up? It's Fast Five, Jay. Hi. Uh, Scott? Hi. Hi. Watch me, Nene. Uh-huh. True or false? Clemson's thrilling win over Alabama was the greatest national championship game of all time. It's up there, but that's false. USC, Texas is the greatest college football game ever played, not just national championship. Uh, And that would be almost correct. No, it's true. And it's true because you had the underdog come from behind in the fourth quarter, then win it with one second left. Really doesn't get more exciting. Battle round. Was Alabama overhyped? No. Alabama is a great football team. They just got beat. It happens. The team that was underhyped is the story here. Alabama wasn't overhyped, like Jay said. Clemson was underhyped. They were overlooked. They were being called a, a fraud, or as Dabo Swinney said, they called us a fraud. A fraud. A fraud. Uh, no, uh, Bama wasn't, but guess what? Clemson was underhyped. Donkey round. Who benefits most from the San Diego Chargers moving to Los Angeles? I'll tell you what, the city of Los Angeles can't support the Rams after one year. Oh, let's just give them another team. It's all about the Benjamins for the NFL. Nobody benefits. No, really, seriously. Nobody benefits from this. Donkey round. Will Bryce Washington lead the NCAA in double doubles this year? Yes. You know, as Bob Marlin said on his show last night, the rebounds are going to be there every night. As long as he scores, he'll get them. Kid's a rebounding machine. He's currently one behind of the uh, NCAA leader, but played one game less. Yes. It's time for winner and loser of the week. Winner of the week, let's go with the city of New Orleans. Why, Jay? Because once again, they prove that they are the greatest host of hosting a big time event than anywhere else in the world. All-Star Game has to move on short notice. We're going to New Orleans. WrestleMania, laugh all you want. It is big money, it is big tourism. They were just in New Orleans a couple years ago. They usually don't go back to a city for a long time. They're going back this April. No doubt, best host city of big sporting events, New Orleans. Loser of the week. How about the city of Las Vegas, particularly the Vegas sports books? Worst case scenario, Clemson won outright. Check. They covered. Check. And the over happened. And that's where all the money went. It's estimated 20, maybe $30 million Vegas lost because not only Clemson winning, but the way they won as well. They're the loser of the week. And that is it for Fast Five. I'm Scott, that's Jay. See you next week. Bye.